Topology. Okay, so we're going to look at making forms using topology tools. And to do so, we have to understand topology and why it's important and why I want you to kind of learn it at a very beginning level so you can get into good conversations and say, hey, don't you think that has some bad topology? And I can go, yes, and smile and say, yes, it does have bad topology. It's uh, quite awful, actually. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the fact it's in your vocabulary. You're using it all the time. And you're noticing things that could be improved in models that are like posted in high-grade places. Like If you go to Pixelogic and you kind of look around at some of the models, maybe you can say, well, you know, I would probably change the topology in that area and it would produce a better normal map for you. you know, that's, that's, that's good stuff right there. So here we go. We're going to add a 3D plane here. We're going to up it just a little bit in deformation. We're going to size it in Y. And we're going to be using this for a couple of things, but first this very beginning lesson on topology and why it's important. So once you get done, you make it a poly mesh and jump into a Z-sphere and then go down here to rigging, select mesh. I'm going to select that new poly mesh and then topology and then edit topology. Okay, so the 101s. One, make your brush really small. Okay. And I'm not going to use symmetry for this very first lesson. Just note that there is a thing in the center here, and it's called the root. Okay, You can delete the root, but only after there's a new root. Does that make sense? So tip this a little bit, hold shift, click in an area, and click again. This is my starting root. This is my root, and it chains out. That means I can get rid of this one by clicking over on Alt. What I'm going to do is be producing two forms. Okay, and these forms are going to be very simple forms, and basically it's like control click, control click, 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 click. And I'm going to click all the way around until I get to the very end, and then control click back. And those that's going to connect these, these chains of uh, z-spheres. These are just basically little tiny z-spheres. Alright, so control click, control click control click. I'm going to put some spokes out here. Think of this as a wheel or a web. Think of it as a spider web too. And then I'm going to start connecting it again. If I think I missed it, I'm going to undo. And it's really hard to tell if they're connected or not sometimes. So you got to really kind of look out for the danger signs. And since you're new to this, you don't know the danger signs yet. So I'm going to do that one more time. Do, do, do. this thing that I just made. Oh, here's a here's a p point right here. This one didn't connect. So I'm going to delete it. You can barely see it, but it's there. It's not connected. This thing that I just made, if you're new to topology land or po polygon land, is an edge ring. And an edge ring is just like an edge loop. It just exists on the surface of a polygon rather than around the, a form. So and lastly, I'm going to close this up. And we're going to do it in all quads. Hopefully, we can do even amounts, but we'll see. So all you do here is go control click, click, control click. Okay, and this solving for quads is an art form in itself, let me tell you. Okay, usually I do the two ends first, and then after that I decide whether I need stuff in the middle. 
for a form like this. And you can connect these after the fact. You just look for the green dot and it should connect. Okay, and these two I'm going to have to run out on to the outside of the form. Just like that. And then connect it all together. And then hit A and you should have this. If I switch into polyframe, you have something that looks like this. It's all quads and it flows to the center. Okay, that's our first form and we're going to be using that to learn. The second form looks a lot like the first form, uh, just a little bit easier to produce. And I'm going to count this out. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, the reason I counted that is because if I keep it even, even amounts, you're going to find out it's very easy to complete the puzzle into all quads. Sometimes, so. In this case, doing some funny stuff on me here. There we go. I think it snapped out of it. Once in a while, you'll get some funny things going on with topology tools. They're my favorite, but man, they have never been right. Okay, so here, uh, let's get rid of a few of these. Let's get rid of this one. Again, Alt will delete them. And there we go, we got two different forms. Also, what I can do is, there's a skin thickness down here. So if you up the skin thickness, it'll make the parts like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create these two. Let's turn these into poly meshes. And in the next video, I'm going to show you what the difference is between good and bad topology.